Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change or modify your default programs in Windows 7 and up. Check it out. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, we do a lot of how to's, a lot of tutorials and videos just like this one. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. These instructions will actually work for Windows 7 and up. So as you can see, I'm on Windows 10, which is the newest operating system for Microsoft. But these instructions that I'm going to go through first, we're going to go through Windows 7 and then we'll go through Windows 10 or Windows 8, 8.1. Um, so Windows actually, Windows 8 and then up to 10 all actually uh, function exactly the same way. So Windows 7 is a little bit different story. It's a little bit older of an operating system. But to access your default programs with Windows 7, all you want to do is click on your start menu. And then right about this area here where you can see my mouse, you're usually going to have a option that says control panel. So go ahead and left click on control panel. On Windows 10, I'm going to have to type that in. So I'll type in control panel. And then uh, this window will pop up whether you're on Windows 7 or Windows 10 anyway. So what you'll want to do is click on the green link right here that says programs. And then another little window will come up that says you want to, you want to click on default programs. And then you'll have four different options from here. Uh, here you can set your default programs, associate a file type or protocol with the program, change your autoplay settings, and set program access and computer defaults. What we'll want to do is actually click the top option that says set your default programs. And it's going to give you a list. So as you can see, if you go through this list, it's going to show you everything that's installed on the computer that you can actually go through and click on it. So let's click on Firefox, for example. You can click set this program as default or you says you can choose a default for this program, which means choose which file types and protocols that select programs open by default. So uh, in layman's terms, what you can do is set up a program to specifically open up Firefox, or if you have a different program that you want to use Chrome with, you can go in and set it. That takes a little bit more advanced knowledge, but that's where you'd go to um, actually change the default programs if you wanted to do it. Also in depth is your option as well. Uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 8 really and up is a very similar process. Um, if you're on 8.1, you have the start menu. If not, and you just have Windows 8, which is the uh, the tiles or the apps, you'll want to click on your Windows or go into that, and then you can again type Control Panel, go from there. So what you can do if you are on Windows 8 and up, so 8 and 8.1 users, what you'll want to do is left click or get into your start menu where the tiles are and you'll want to just begin typing the word default. If you're on Windows 10, again, you can left click on the start menu, you'll actually get a start menu. Again, just type in the word default and the first option that comes up is going to be default programs. It'll be very similar for Windows 8 and 8.1. It'll then choose you to, or take you to this little settings box where you can choose default apps as kind of a, like an overview. Or if you scroll down, you can actually click choose default apps by file type choose default apps by protocol or set defaults by app. So if you wanted to wait, if you wanted to go in and adjust it the old school way, you can use these options down here, which will take you to the menu that we were just in when we were showing you how to use the Windows 7. Otherwise, you can kind of quickly change things right here at a glance. These are typically your most used files. Email will use, if you have like an Outlook, you can set that. Maps, usually it will use Maps. Uh, music Player, if you have something different like uh, Windows Media Player or iTunes, you can go in and set it here. Photo Viewer, if you have like Photoshop, you can set that here. Video Player, I like to use VLC Media Player. It has a lot more um, uh, compatibility and a lot more support for different types of codecs. And then of course your web browser, you can go in and uh, change it as such anyway. So again, each one of these, you can just click on it and choose one from the list. If you don't see one, you can actually click look for an app in the store and actually find an app that would work for you. Otherwise, that's pretty much the gist of how to create and how to actually manage your default programs, whether you're on Windows 7 all the way up through Windows 10. As always, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. We will see you next time. <laughs>